Hello. Now we will proceed it with elementary row transformation. This is the same method. You have to find out the inverse by applying this. But how can you find it? There are two procedures which you can be proceeded. Row and column. For row elementary transformation, you have to take this. A is equals to IA. Here, as you know, I is identity matrix. If you have to find out the identity matrix of 2 by 2 order, then the diagonals remains 1 and other than that, all the elements remains 0. Okay. If 3 by 3, then you have to take this. Diagonals have 1 and other than that, all the elements are 0. Now listen to me. Substitute all these values. 2, 1, 5, 3. A is this. I is 1, 1, 0, 0. And this is I. A. Now you have to find out the A inverse. The purpose to solve this is that you have to make this an identity matrix. Means you have to firstly make 1 here. Then 0 here. Then 1 here. Then 0 here. Like this. Okay. So proceed it. Apply some row transformations. To make 1. We interchange R1 with R2. Means R2 is 1, 3. R1 is 2, 5. Okay. You have to plan this transformation on both LHS and RHS. Left side and right side. 0, 1 and 1, 0. Row is interchange. We do this. Why we do this? We do this so as to make 1 here. You have to make identity matrix here. Okay. So, now make 0 here, R2. If we subtract 2 minus 2 get to be 0, we get 0. So, if we subtract R2 from twice of R1, we get 0. So, listen, 2 minus 2 becomes 0. We don't touch R1 here. So, R1 remains as it is now. What we do with R2? R2, 2 minus 2, 0. 5 minus 3, 2 is 6. 5. Minus 3, 2 is 6. So, minus 1. 1 minus 2, 0 is 0, 1. 0 minus 2, minus 2. Okay. Now, you have to make, make 1 here. What you can do? You just take minus of R2. So, this becomes 1, 3, 0, 1. And this becomes 0, minus 1, 1, 2. Alright. Now, the last step is you have to make 0 here. So, as to make complete identity matrix. 0. R1 tends to R1 minus 3 R2. Make sure that other elements remains as it is. Which you make, uh, which uh, you derive to make identity matrix. Now, 1, 3 minus 3, 0. 0, 1. This have been completed. Now, R1 minus 3 R2 minus minus plus 3 1 minus 6 minus 5 this becomes R2 remains as it is as we do not apply any transformation into R2. So now when you formed identity matrix on LHS you have just taken A inverse here and the form which you have here is your A inverse. So, this is your inverse. I hope you got it. This is a long method, but you can also apply this to find out the inverse. Okay. Now, we are moving towards solution of any three equations. You have to find out the value of x, y, z from these equations by matrix method. If you have to apply, if you have to solve these equations, how can you solve this? You can solve this by treating these two equations and apply elimination, these two equations by applying elimination, and then the other two. But this that becomes a very long procedure. So now you have to do for matrix method the formula is Ax is equals to b. There are three matrices A, X, and B. Here A is the coefficients of x, y and z. In first equation coefficient of x is 2. 
y is minus 1, z is 1. Another equation, a coefficient of x is minus 1, coefficient of y is 2 and coefficient of z is minus 1. For this 1 minus 1. I hope you understand. Now, B matrix is the values which have with us on right hand side. That is 3, minus 4 and 1. And x is x, y, z. Remember, these are having the pattern of the same. That is, A is 3 by 3 or 2 by 2. B is 3 by 1 or 2 by 1. If you have only two equations, then that becomes 2 by 2 order. And this becomes 3 by 1. Remember, as you know, multiplication can only be done if two matrices have the row, column of first matrix should be equal to row of another. Okay? Then only multiplication can be taken place. Okay? Now, we proceeded. Uh, these are our three matrices. Now, if you have to find out the value of x, y, z, that is x matrix, then it becomes A inverse B. Okay? Now, you have to find out the A inverse. B is with you. And now, you have to find out the A inverse. And for A inverse, the procedures are, the steps are, firstly, A determinant. A determinant is 2. Hide this and taking determinant. 2 to the 4, minus 1, 3. Minus... Minus of 1 becomes 1. Now hide this. Minus 2 plus 1. Minus 1. Hide this. 1 minus 2 minus 1. So you get 6 minus 1 minus 1. 6 minus 2 that is 4. This is your A determinant. So as this is not 0, you have a non-singular matrix with you. You can proceed to find out the A inverse. Now find minors. How can you find out the minors? You know very well. You saw this in your previous slides. So, you find the minors by hiding that element, that row and column. Means, 1, 1. First row and first column, hide this. You get 4 minus 1, that is 3. 1, 2, hide this. Minus 2, plus 1, that is minus 1. 1, 3, 1 minus 2 that is minus 1. 2, 1 minus 2 plus 1 that is minus 1. 2, 2, 4 minus 1 that is 3. 2, 3 minus 2 plus 1 that is minus 1. 3, 1, min, uh, 1 minus 2 that is minus 1. 3, 2 minus 2 plus 1 minus 1. 3, 3, 4 minus 1 that is 3. Okay. These are our minors. That is, so cofactors become the matrix of all the minors. 3, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, 3, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, 3. And at odd places, you have to change the signs. Means this is square. Plus, 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 plus. Alright? This becomes our cofactors. Remember, A determinant is 4. So, these are our cofactors. Now, for adjoint A, what you have to do is taking the transpose of cofactors. Means, taking transpose, row become column. 1 minus 1, second row, second column. 1, 3, 1, minus 1, 1, 3. Alright? Now, you have adjoint, you have A determinant. So what do you not have? A inverse. And it is A determinant, 1 upon A determinant adjoint A. A determinant is 4. Adjoint A is this. Minus 1, 1, 3, 1. Minus 1, 1, 3. Alright? Now, substitute all these values. Listen to me. As x is equal to a inverse, which is this. And B is this. 3 minus 4, 1. Alright? Listen. 
This is of 3 by 3. This is of 3 by 1. So on multiplication, we get the matrix of 3 by 1 order. It means first row, first column. 3 3s are 9, minus 4, minus 1. Set, uh, 3 by 1 means A11, A12, A21, A31. Okay? So A21, 2, 1, 3, minus 12, plus 1. Third row and first column means minus 3, minus 4, plus 3. What you get is 9 minus 5, 4, 4, 12 minus 4, minus 8, minus 7 plus 3, minus 4. So this becomes taking one fourth of all these values, 1 minus 2 minus 1. As x is what? x is nothing but the matrix of 3 by 1 order with x, y, z. You see here, on comparing, at subsequent position, you get x as 1. Y as minus 2 and Z as minus 1. If you uh, solve these equations, then you get definitely these values. I hope you understand how can we solve the equations with matrix method. Next, we will discuss in our next videos. Thank you. Keep learning. And make sure that if you have any doubt, you ask us. Thank you.